Yeah, I'm still here waiting on my fucking meds to to uh, be ready. Got about a, I got approximately 50, approximately uh 10, 40 minutes. Well, anyways, the reason why I'm uploading this video is because. I guess you could call it a blessing. Mm. Tastes like it came from heaven too. Anyways, uh, as I was, I got, I, you know, sitting, you know, I went to the store, got me a few items. Then I came over here to read. I must have been sitting here for a good while. I have watching buses pass and cars pass and people walk to and fro and shit. I'm glad it ain't as cold as yesterday. I'm glad the sun finally fucking came out. Um, yeah, I'm just chilling, right? And I saw this girl, nice ass. She passed, right? I'm just admiring her panties through her slacks. I'm like, damn, look at them fucking cheeks. And all of a sudden, I heard a voice behind me said, hey, sir, sir. I was like, who the fuck is fucking up my view? So I turn around, I'm like, he's like, would you want a sandwich? You want a sandwich in a drink? Sandwich? He was a Mexican. You want a sandwich? I'm like, first I was like, hell no, you can take the sandwich and stick it up your ass. But I was like, okay. Gave me the drink. And um, he gave me a little pamphlet. We you know one of them Jesus pamphlets about eternity and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, he's like, bless you, God bless you. And he just walked off and shit. It was a six inch. One of those uh those homemade hoagie sandwiches and shit. Ain't the quality of Subway, but it's a sandwich nonetheless. Hope you can hear me. It's kind of windy out here. Um so yeah, uh Yeah, so I guess you can call it a blessing, you know. He was an angel sent from heaven. As like God said, oh, there is my servant. Standing there all pissed off and shit. Go down there and pretend to be a Mexican and give the man a sandwich and a fucking drink. So he can calm down. So, never met this guy before. And I'm thinking like, um, I'm thinking he probably thought I was homeless because a lot of homeless people be sitting up in this motherfucking spot. And I've seen a couple of guys that were fucking like, hey, you got some fair change and all that shit. So, um, so he probably thought I was fucking homeless. And he just, you know, gave me a sandwich in the can pop. I guess, you know, I mean, I believe that um, some people are like, I don't know, you know. I believe that most people are good. I think I mentioned that in an earlier video. But if it was the other way around, we'd be fucked. What can I say? Yeah, most people are pretty good. Generous and everything like that. I think it's in our nature to be good and generous. We just learn the opposite of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I believe, like, if... If you tell somebody don't do something or do this, you got to tell them why. I think that's very important. Because they have to know the why, they have to do it, you know? Why is it beneficial to me to do this, you know what I'm saying? What do I get out of it, you know? That's what they're gonna be saying. I saw, I was when I was in the dollar store, yeah, I'm fucking cheap. When I was in the dollar store, I saw this selfie. No, I mean, the selfie stand, it's like, it goes around your neck and, it, and it's like a stand that stand up like this so you don't have to use your hands and shit. Talk about some lazy motherfucking shit. Technology making us lazy in the motherfucker, man. 
lazy. Fucking lazy as hell. So, got this girl. She got to be about what, 14? You can see it. It's like a, it's like a side profile, and she got the phone all up on the stage. She's like, well, that's some lazy shit. And to think briefly, I thought about buying that motherfucker for my videos. Fuck it, I, I use my fucking arm. Shit, I don't get enough exercise any goddamn way. Might as well use my fucking arm to hold my phone. Get, get some fucking workout in. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. That's like what three percent workout when I'm holding my phone like I'm doing now. And shit, what the fuck? I don't need a goddamn kit. Lazy ass. I wish my daughter would tell me, hey daddy, can you buy that for me? I said, hell no. Hold this, hold this shit up with your fucking hand. Shit. I can't get you to fucking jog anyway, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're overweight. So yeah, work that fucking arm out with, and, and while you're doing the selfie. Shit. Fuck out of here, man. That's some lazy shit. Lazy. I mean, it's bad enough if you go to the supermarket and those fucking self-checkouts. Each checkout, somebody lost a fucking job. Think about it. You got machines taking jobs from us and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's convenient for me. It's easy. I just self-check out and, get, and just go. Yeah, but your fucking cousin won't be able to work there because the self-checkout got his position. You got that robotic bitch's voice. Place food on the item. Is this all? Do you need a bag? Please check out now. Use the pin card to complete transaction. Sometimes she sounds like she's fucking in heat. Like she's fucking pissed. Like she got PMS or some shit. I'll be, be like, this. sometimes I go a little bit slow and shit because she goes, please take your bags. I'm like, okay. And I'm getting my shit together, right? And then she says, please take your bags. I'm like, okay, bitch. Fuck. She said, it, it's, I don't know if it's just me, but it sounds like when the machine repeats, please take your bags, it sounds like she's saying it more firm and shit. First, first it sounds like, Please take your items. Then when she does it again, please take your items. I'm like, what the fuck? Shit. Well, thank you, sir, for the sandwich and the uh, and the drink. I don't need this fucking shit. But I got it freed. That's my excuse. Sorry, buddy. I got it freed. See, I can run that by my doctor when I see her tomorrow and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be like, hey, doc, you got to cut me some slack now. I know. But it, but it says a free pop. You know what I'm saying? I go to fucking McDonald's. And I say, well, I want a number two. Pop comes with it, doc. What you want me to do? Ask for water? <laughs> the, it's a free pop. Yeah. Free pop. That's my fucking excuse, you know. I don't go for seconds no more when you get the free refills. I don't do that no more. Shit. I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? Slow as fuck. My heart is like, goddamn, we're gonna get this fucking fat off me, man. You know. So every time I get the get the foul mouth going, I get kids coming and shit. It's like, what the fuck? They come out of nowhere. I should be foul more often. See some more kids pass me. See, there you go. Some more kids are passing me right now. See what I'm saying? You got parents. They say, if you don't watch your mouth, I'll wash it out with soap. I think they did that shit literally to their kids and shit. They take a bar of soap and literally wash their fucking mouth out with soap. <laughs> But that's child abuse. I'm to shut the fuck up. It ain't gonna kill him. <sighs> mm. Shit. I said, yeah, that ain't gonna fucking kill him. Shut the fuck up. Child abuse and shit. The government wanna tell you how to raise your fucking kids. Fuck y'all, man. I'm glad I don't have any. I'll tell you that. 
Shit, cause my, my, because of the way my life is now, man. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's fucked up sometimes, but man, I gotta be telling you, imagine if I got my ex pregnant, you know what I'm saying? I still gotta deal with her motherfucking ass? What the fuck, man? Shit, she's pushing fucking 70 years old. That ain't no bullshit. She pushing fucking 70. Can you imagine if I had a fucking child with that old ass woman? Shit, man. That's why she liked me. Ooh, you're so vibrant. I can be vibrant too, you know. <sighs> I mean, shit, man. People trip out. I said, my ex was 10 years older than my mom and shit. They go, what? You know, I can't. I, I don't blame you if you're thinking like you, you bullshitting white criminals on. You know, you, I know you like to joke in your videos. Uh, uh, uh. I'd be nice if I was bullshitting, but I'm not. She was ten years older than my mom. She is ten years older than my mom. She's the same age as my second mom, whom I made an earlier video about. I had her on the video. It was my second mom. She wasn't my birth mom. I call her mom though. But my birth mom is ten years younger than my ex. So. So she's fucking pushing 70 years old, man. I'm like, damn. She was in her 50s when I met her. What the fuck? Shit. But yeah, man, I'm just chilling, man. Um, trying to wear on this goddamn mess. It's almost 3 o'clock. They said 3.30. Told us to be ready between 3.30 and 4. They might call me like a... They might call me sooner. Cause I'm, uh, I'm expecting a fucking call. So yeah, man, I'm looking at the buses. I'm like, I want to go home. <laughs> a woman just passed me. She got no front teeth. I can't, I can't lose my. I think if I lose my front teeth, I might as well kill myself. That's like my. That's like me losing my dick. You know. Shit, I can't lose these motherfuckers, man. I'll be like, oh my god, I never smiling again. I'll be talking like this. Hi, it's my cortisol. Shout it out. Peace and love. Hi. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm gonna be able to show it. You think I'm, you, you might be laughing. I'm fucking serious. I'll be, I'll be fucking, I, I would develop depression and fucking psychosis and shit if I lost my two front teeth. Because if I lose that, I lose my personality. Shit, nobody wants to walk around with no two front teeth gone and shit. The fuck, man? Shit, I remember I heard about this one girl. She had an accident. She lost her two front teeth. She, she was like, oh my God, I'm ugly. You know what I'm saying? I said, yeah, you are, but you can always get them fake ones. You know, save up your fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Look like a fucking four-year-old. Hey, mommy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> He'd be 32, like, hey! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. That's part of the reason what got me to brush my teeth twice a day. I've been doing that fucking shit for years. Twice a day, baby. Sometimes I use peroxide and motherfucking teeth. Sometimes I use baking soda. All that type of shit, man. Fuck that. I ain't using these two front teeth. If I lose the two front teeth, I might as well go. You know, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, cut this video short. And, uh, I saw a goth chick. And they got nerve to say, people think we worship the devil, but we don't. I'm saying, yeah, you look like you do. Shit, you got, you have black nails. You got black hair, black lipstick and shit. What the fuck? Are you, what the fuck are you supposed to, what are we supposed to think? You know what I'm saying? Put yourself in our shoes. What if you seen us? I mean, what if, what if you seen you? You know what I'm saying? You gonna think, devil worshiper. Got the fucking spike necklaces and shit. Spike. And all the spikes on the wrist. What the fuck? Oh, we don't worship the devil and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, you look like them. That's what I'm saying. The fuck out of here, man. Goth chicks. Goth dudes. What the fuck? Anyway, <laughs> this is Wild Chromosome signing the fuck out. Peace and love.